TransAsia Airways employees gather outside the headquarters of Gosan Group, which operates the airline. On December 13th, to demand TransAsia Airways chairperson Vincent Lin attend a meeting on compensation the following day. Several altercations broke out during the protest. Hundreds of TransAsia Airways employees gathered outside the headquarters of Golson Group, which operates the airline, on December 13th. They were there to protest TransAsia Airways chairperson Vincent Lin's unreasonable dismissal of employees. At one point, the building's gate began to lower, and the protesters used their bodies to block its descent. Several sustained injuries as a result. The previous day, employees had staged a sit-in protest outside Lin's home. During both the protests, the employees called for Lin to come out and face them. A TransAsia Airways union accused Lin of violating the Act for Worker Protection of Mass Redundancy. It also said no one from the government, including the Ministry of Transportation and Communications and the Ministry of Labor, was willing to help them. The union said Lin is unwilling to negotiate with employees and has sent CEO Liu Dongming to meet with them. However, Liu does not have the authority to make decisions. The union said Lin is treating the situation like a game and use the hard work of the airline's employees to purchase 30 sports cars. According to the union, 40% of Golsan Group's shares are held by TransAsia Airways' largest shareholders. It urged Golsan executives to attend a meeting on protecting their rights. If the company fails to show goodwill, it will continue to camp outside Lin's home.